Oh yeah. Nice and sloppy. Nice and sloppy for you. All right, awesome. Some Blake Diet staple sandwiches. We got chicken, broccoli, garlic, cheddar, mashed potatoes with some cheese sauce on them. Cause that's, this is a good and easy meal. This is one of my, my good and easy, simple convenience meals on the Blake Diet. It's 3,100 calories, but dude. Yeah, somebody's gonna say, just eat it, just eat it. What's up guys, it's bourbon, chicken and broccoli, garlic, cheddar, mashed potato sandwiches time. Let's go. Oh. Pour some of his gravy out. Because who doesn't love some gravy porn, you know? That's what's up. Cheers. Mmm. Do I make my own bread? No. I do not make my own bread. Um, is eating at this time wrong? No. Your comment's wrong. It doesn't matter what time you eat. Um, what is that? I would like to one day make my own bread. Oh. Bake my own bread. I would like to one day sell my own bread, but that's a lot harder than um than it sounds. Selling bread, even just nationwide, is super difficult. I bet Nikki, I've talked to like a few different bakeries about the logistics. The logistics part is difficult because in order for me to sell it. They have to have places all over the country because to ship it, it's, it'd be more expensive to ship it than the bread would be worth. That's, that's the problem. I mean, I could sell it. I could sell bread in New Jersey, but mm. Mm, delicious. No, if it bothered me, if my food gets cold, there's an oven right here. There's an oven here. There's a microwave here. They can be both be used to heat up the food. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I want to. I've been trying to do this for two years. And I've had people see, my, I've had, even had people, some, some places just don't see my vision. They don't see the, the Blake bread vision. And don't get to everybody who buy it. Some people see my vision and explain it to me. Like, break it down. Like, look, we have to, if we have to freeze it, if we have to pack it on dry ice to get to Cali, if you, you like next day air it. Um, the other option would be preservatives. I have not, oh, have I chosen an intern? I have not reviewed all the applications yet for an intern. I have not chosen an intern. If you have a problem with me talking with my mouth full, then just leave the stream. But... I am going to post my story one more time. Thank you to everybody who applied. It seems like there are some decent candidates. I didn't fully check over everybody's credentials, but it seems like there are some decent candidates. So, Johnny, one stream, 
I if I, if I had a hot tray, it would overcook the food. And then one stream, Jenny and I ate out of a catering dish at a Sterno's, and we were sweating our faces off. Like, literally. Literally, it was so hot. I was burning my mouth. <laughs> Check that out. Yeah. Check that out. Check it. Oh, yeah. So, the food was too hot. It was burning my mouth. It was like, it. if it drips, that's right, Carrie. But I thought, I thought about, I've been looking at some things. Would I recommend this diet to anybody trying to gain mass? If you like to eat food. I would recommend this diet to anybody who likes to eat food and not get hungry. And manage their weight. I got a few things recording at the same time. I'm looking for an intern who lives local to me to film me when I cook and eat a few days a week. Appreciate it, AJ. They looked good. Your family freaked out, Shannon. Did they see did they see the difference though in you? <laughs> If you'd like to, if you'd like to apply for the internship, I will, um, mm. if you are local and would like to apply for the internship, is it theblakediet.com slash intern? There's a form on my website. Let me see. Let me see. Gotta go back to a million messages. Your family has noticed a difference, but they're still like, you, what do you eat once a day or twice a day? There's so many messages, I can't find it. I will repost my story tomorrow. I will repost my story tomorrow. You really like my nips? Thank you. Hire a hot female. It may be male, maybe female. Whoever's close and the most qualified. Um. Isn't going to be annoying. But. The cool part is. You can gain muscle significantly with any diet. Your meal timing doesn't have anything to do with muscle gain. Barely. No. New cam I got more crap camera equipment coming tomorrow. The reason why it looks clearer, I think just because you're up closer today. When I'm with Jenny, you guys are back a little bit. When the meal's too big, you guys are back a little bit. If you started following me today and you're obsessed, thank you. If you're new here, some of you guys came from the Thrillist thing, which got reposted. Some of you guys came here from Dr. Oz and various things. Um, which is one of the tricks of the Blake diet, Shannon. So if you're new here and you want basic, basic intermittent fasting motivation, follow me. But if you want to learn the ins and outs of, of the, the way I do things... 
if you want to learn the ins and outs of the way I do things, you want to not fuck up your metabolism. That's one of my biggest, one of the biggest problems with people who start intermittent fasting on their own is like so many of them tell me, oh, I was inspired by you, didn't join the Blake diet, and then tell me they just, and they're just basically fucking up their metabolism. Uh. But you want to get the ingredients? Go on. These are, yes, I do have a YouTube, same name, Blake underscore 201. These are chicken, broccoli, garlic, cheddar, sweet, no, garlic, cheddar, mashed potato sandwiches with cheese sauce and gravy. How am I doing, River? I had a stressful day, but these sandwiches make everything better. Okay. River. Not only did I make this in the stream river, but if you go to the Blake Diet Recipes page, it has a choose your own adventure for these types of sandwiches. And you pick a chicken, you pick um, uh, mashed potatoes, you pick veggies, you pick cheese. It's a flow chart, basically. You put it all together and it's pretty good damn every time. So, what's up CCS Dave? My ingredients are available to the Blake Diet members only. CCS you ride, I assume. CCS Drew. Jersey or New York, CCS. New York. Yeah. Carbs inspire you? What's up, you make pizza? Sometimes people seeing me eat carbs makes them know it's okay to eat carbs and you can manage it. Sometimes people seeing me eat carbs makes them angry and they just click unfollow because they're like, this guy's bullshit. You're 14 year old wanting the Blake diet. If you're 14 years old, I'm sorry, but you wouldn't be able to sign up for the Blake diet. You gotta be 18 or over. You didn't catch the first part? Well, this, no, he didn't catch the first part of the stream. You can go back and rewatch the stream for this one, but. <laughs> But everybody makes these and everybody's like, oh, damn. Hello, am I eating these? Yes, I'm eating these. Are you not to? Yeah, unfortunately, I can't give nutritional advice to minors. I love how this, somebody wants to keep commenting about my nipples. It's probably a dude. The sandwiches make a bad day better. <clears throat> I'm actually, technically, I'm way older than Drake, so Drake looks like me. I've gotten to you look like Drake a lot, but... I'm older than Drake. Alexa, how old is Drake? Drake is 32 years old. He was born on October 24th, 1986. All right, so I'm four years older than Drake. And you don't have to, River. You don't have to do OMAD. A lot of people want to do one meal, but they don't know why. Drake is 32. Check that out. Check that cheesy goodness out. Yes, probably, Steven. 
probably my favorite meal of all time, just pizza. Plain New York pizza with extra cheese. Everybody's been asking me that question forever. And I'm like, really thinking about it. Moderate extra cheese. Not like heavy, heavy, but like... That's gotta be my favorite food. It just has to be. Um, it depends how they're made, Shannon. Calorie for calorie? Probably the egg ones. Oh, the favorite meal that I've made involved in my diet? You can't even. Here's the thing about what I do. Favorite tasting and Favorite looking are two different things. If I make a giant donut that I could, you can, which I've made that you can, I can fit my head through, or a giant slice of pizza, or a giant taco, it's like something completely ridiculous. Giant sushi roll, all these giant foods I make are so much fun. And like the moments and memories from them. Especially some of the more famous ones. Those are my favorites. However, then there's favorite tasting. And although, although, all of those giant meals taste good. You got something so sloppy like this. Would I have a friend that's gay? I have some gay friends. You, you want me to hook you up with one of my gay friends? So as I was saying, this meal doesn't look like much taste-wise, but this is freaking banging. Like, this is one of my top five combos of all time. As I'm saying, this is like a great, com a great comfort meal to fit your nutrients. And they're good every freaking time. Like this, I do once a week in some form, usually. Giant sushi roll, you gotta be careful. Giant sushi roll, you gotta be careful. Like, when I did it, when I did it, I had the right ratio of raw fish to cooked meats and fish in, in the roll. Because... <clears throat> If you're just dealing with a packed sushi roll, hold on, this is stuck. PG Sports, do you do epic meals? Watching his reactions when he sees some of these comments. Are people, some people ask intelligent questions. Some of them just ask dumb questions. Tiff, you've been watching a while. You've been watching a while. What brought me to start eating this, to start this diet? To start this diet. Yeah, just just watch the beginning of the when, once the stream is over, River, just watch from the beginning.
Or, or you can look at the recipe on the website, either way. These ones are, these particular ones, straight fire. So, the reason why I started this diet was because I lost 60 pounds and I hated eating tiny bitch meals out of Tupperware. So, I learned about intermittent fasting and I thought all the intermittent fasting programs at the time were below par and some of them didn't make sense so I made my own. I took shit to a whole new level and pissed off everybody who was big in intermittent fasting. EMC Financial Coaching wants to know, what's the biggest misconception of my diet? All right. That was the best question I've gotten so far. I'll give you the top five to ten biggest misconceptions. Probably five. Number one, that you get hungry or starve during the day. People say, people say, I couldn't do this diet because I'm hungry all the time. It's actually a diet you do to no longer get hungry like you do when you eat three or four meals and snacks and whatever all day. Hmm. One of the main pros of doing this is not getting hungry anymore. Literally not getting hungry. I wasn't hungry when I ate this meal. You know you have to eat. You know how much you, you have to eat. You know what you should eat. And you enjoy it, but you're not hungry. Once you get adjusted to it. You try it for a few days, yeah, you're going to get hungry. But once you get adjusted to it. So hunger is one. And these misconceptions are in no particular order. Another misconception. You'll lose muscle mass if you don't eat for 24 hours or 18 hours or 16 hours or even 12. No, intermittent fasting increases growth hormone. Testosterone. Intermittent fasting is great for building muscle. And you will not lose your gains. There's no anabolic window. You don't have to slam a protein shake 15 minutes after leaving the gym. That's just a waste of calories. There you go. Number three. Does a diet work if you're a truck driver? Yes. It also works if you're not a truck driver. It works at any age. See, these are the biggest mis misconceptions. Let me get to them. Number three. Your energy will drop if you do intermittent fasting or the late diet. You're, if you're... If you're managing your nutrients right, your energy is going to be the same or better. Same or better. You guys, anybody who's been doing this for a while, whether they train or not, whether they're a bodybuilder, power lifter, runner, cyclist, endurance trainer, they will tell you if they've been fasted training for a while. They like their energy fasted. Their misconception. 
Fourth misconception. I'm a woman and I don't... Oh, fourth, oh you know what? Fourth misconception. Biggest misconception. I don't work out or I don't want to work out enough to eat this much. You don't have to work out to do the Blake diet. You don't have to work out. What's up, Vicky? Very true, AJ. You don't have to work out at all to do any diet ever. Any. The Blake diet, no diet. And if anybody tells you, if anybody tells you you have to work out to do their diet, their diet sucks. Or they don't know what they're talking about. No. Working out is great. It's healthy. I'm not telling you don't work out. But you don't have to. And if you're going to not work out and do a diet, this is the diet to do. People who... Yeah, Scotty. What he said is the misconceptions come from people who don't stick to it a couple of days. Comes from the people... Yo, I tried intermittent fasting before. You know, they tried it for like two days. Or, and didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Exactly. Workouts better fasted. You're a certain age. You're a certain age so you couldn't do this. Intermittent fasting is for any friggin' age. It wasn't called intermittent fasting. It was just how we ate. Hunter Gallery style. All you're doing is getting your daily nutrients in a shorter period of time. Now, yes, I teach people how to do that with delicious foods. Another misconception. This is a weight loss diet, unless you want to gain weight. Another misconception. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. Another huge misconception. Whereas, my people... Me and my people, the Blake Diet members, are literally eating healthier than all these clean eaters who are showing their clean food and aren't getting the right nutrients. Your body... Your body doesn't clap for eating clean food. It claps for nutrients. It doesn't know you ate fucking pizza or a chicken sandwich. It knows your protein, carbs, fat, fiber, potassium, vitamins, minerals. That's all it knows. Another misconception. My diet is extremely, extremely high in sugar. When most of the meals are, are way lower sugar than anybody would imagine. What's up, Elisa? Everybody from the Blake Dad group is like re-emerging after the holiday. A lot, a lot of us freaking... As you guys saw, I was eating out a lot or did not see. I was eating out a lot, so I wasn't streaming a lot. The Blake Dot group, you know, friends, family, all that shit. So now we're all like re-emerging and coming back together. No, all of everybody. It's good to see everybody coming back in. I'm glad everybody had a good time. As you should during the holidays. I 
I have, not only do I have zero regrets about eating out for like a week and friggin' partying like crazy, besides my bank account, but I want to eat out more. Mm. Granted, not the healthiest thing to eat out every day, but especially like eat, eat out pizza and shit every day when you're not making it. But it was great to just not make food and just order it. You think so, Ivan? This is this is one of this, we were talking about how awesome this is. No, we partied so hard. We partied so hard that there's another big brunch party Sunday, and I'm like, we can't go. We gotta we gotta take some time off from partying. <coughs> No, that's what it is. It's learning, learning how to do it. And when you do it guilt-free, when you do it guilt-free and you're not like, oh, I gotta go burn this off now. Everybody knows how that goes. I gotta go burn this off. Burn shit off. How old am I? I'm 36. Lives are, actually, lives are shorter with Jenny a lot of times. Any financial misconceptions about my diet? Great question. People are like, $30 a month. That's so expensive. And then... Instead of spending the dollar a day, thirty dollars a month, they try to go do shit on their own and completely fuck up their like metabolism, lose lean mass, quickly plateau. And just like, is it really you, the, the things you spend thirty dollars on, and your diet's not important enough to learn how to do things properly, like the, the things. A friggin' double quarter pounder meal at McDonald's is like $13 plus tax. Call it 15 bucks. <laughs> and you'll quickly go buy something like that. Or I don't like McDonald's. Sorry, whatever. Chick-fil-A, whatever you want to say. And you won't spend $30 on learning how to do the diet so you look your best. <laughs> Alright. I get those people, I lost 60 pounds, but now I'm skinny fat. I'm like, now it's gonna be hard to fix. <laughs> you literally saved so much money from not eating out as much. Yeah, I mean, eat out when, when you feel like it, but. And I'm not saying do it. I'm not saying do it, but if you think you're going to figure out the way I do things, you'd rather spend your money on food now than medicine later. No, it's like, it's just enjoying yourself. And I'm, some people some people don't join and they do a great job at, at their, their whatever they decide or whatever other intermittent fasting program they decide to do. Some people join and don't do a great job. But so many people fuck it up because they jump to false conclusions. <coughs> Excuse me. I shit all over my face. I can't believe fast food is so expensive nowadays.
How much is the program? Have I been ringing, ringing? Have I been riding my bike? Um, not much. I've been I've been injured. So my training over the last few weeks, my training over the last two months, really. I've been injured for like two months, um, trying to recover from a groin injury and tennis elbow. So. My training has plummeted, which sucks, but at least I know how to eat. It's not one of these diets where you're training, you don't train as much and you get fat because you know how to manage it, which is super important. I went biking, I went biking January 1st. Is that yesterday? Was that yesterday? That was yesterday, no? I think it was yesterday. Tuesday, yeah. I went biking Tuesday. Not incredibly long, but I went out there. I got out there. And... I appreciate, now that I, I ride like once a week or two, and now I appreciate those rides so much more, I am getting that itch, like it's like, alright, it's time for warm weather already. Like, can we just get the warm weather? Well, put a shirt on, weirdo. Get out of my stream, weirdo. Do I, my diet is good and looks convincing. Do you know where you get the bow tie? This bow tie is very old. You can just search online for... I guess this is red and black or maroon and black. This bow tie actually matches my, uh, my I guess starter sweatpants on. The bow tie actually matches my starter sweatpants because I like to keep it classy like that. It's very important. If you, if you do get a bow tie, excuse me, make sure it matches your sweatpants. Because if it doesn't, you're just not keeping it classy. Trying to find out about the Chef Bear for weeks. What's Chef Bear? You gotta keep it classy. Do I consider myself a sneakerhead? No. I used to. I consider myself a retired sneakerhead. The sneaker game was cool up until about, I would say, 2010, maybe 2011, maybe 2011. Now it's just fucking beat. As you can tell, I'm like bitter about it. Everything's overhyped, mainstream, and ruined. For one of your Vegas trips, we do have a plan going to Vegas next year. Or this year? I don't know. We do plan going to Vegas at some point. No, this is, this is, let me, all right. Let's switch from the diet to the sneaker thing. Let's switch from the diet to, to the sneaker thing. And I'm going to seem like an old grumpy man here. I started collecting sneakers in... Around like... 2002. Alright? I started collecting sneakers in 02. 
Mm. Nike, Adidas. I have us. Uh, yeah, I have some Puma, some Saucony, or Saucony. Um, I have all different old school, old school sneakers, right? Retro sneakers. And then in 04, 04, 05, Bape, a bathing ape, which used to be cool when Nigo owned it. I started collecting Bapes. In 06-ish, I started collecting ice creams when Pharrell and Nigo are partnered to, to launch ice, BBC Ice Cream, Billionaire Boys Club Ice Cream. And you ever get the G-Unit sneakers? No. No, no self-respecting sneaker had bought the G-Unit sneakers. But I had all types, you know, Adidas, Superstars, Nike Dunks, like all types of grails, some still in the packages. However, it used to be, I guess so, River. It used to be a small community of people who did not know. You didn't know unless you were in the know. Like now, now it's all ruined. Because everybody knows everything. It's all, and it, not only the, did the internet ruin it, just the people just fucking ruined it. Like everybody got greedy, everybody wanted to make more money. Um, everything became, you don't have to do exercise to balance my diet. You got to go back to the beginning of the stream and watch. If, let me jump back here. If you're eating something and you have to go burn it off the next day, you're doing it wrong. Let me say that. Go so back to this. So, back in the day, you used to have, you used to have all these shops with no name on them. Some of the shops you needed like a secret passcode. Every, everything was super exclusive. You pretty much had to go to Soho. If you were on the East Coast. To get anything cool. And. It was super difficult. It was just super difficult. And, and that's that's what started all the craze. And you could walk down the street. I could walk down the street anywhere. Or at the mall. Nobody would have a clue what I was wearing. But if you went to a certain area. Like everybody knew like. Oh yeah. This guy's got the heat on. Right? And. It wasn't about, it wasn't about flossing for the gram. I didn't even have Facebook. I didn't have, I didn't have anything at the time. It wasn't about flossing for anything. It was just like, you, you loved this stuff and you were into it. And it was a different time. And now everything is about showing the most trendy shit possible. Like, everybody's doing, like, these luxury collabs. Supreme and Louis Vuitton, awesome for Jebediah and Supreme. But, like, that just started a whole new thing with all these companies, these streetwear companies collabing with high-end fashion, com high fashion companies. And all they're doing is selling stuff for ridiculous prices. And everybody's eating it up. And if I'm going to pay a high price for something, I don't want it to be something that everybody fucking has on when you go anywhere. So, like, that's why I'm no, I'm a retired sneakerhead. I have what I collected. I have what I collected back in the day. And most of it. And although I don't wear most of it, I still have it. And once in a while, I'll, I'll break something out. But it's just, it, 
number one, I'm too busy for that shit. Uh, I got a business to run rather than chasing down sneakers and shit. And, um... I still buy sneakers. But I buy cheap sneakers that look look good and I and I like them. And I know when I wear them nobody else is gonna be walking down the street with the same damn sneakers on. That's annoying. That's annoying. Wait. Beforehand beforehand if something if somebody had the same sneakers on as you, first of all, it never happened in Jersey. But like, if you were in Soho and somebody had the same sneakers on, you guys were like two people with a rare ass sneakers. And it was like, it was like nice shoes. And like, you could respect that. Now like everybody and their mother has a pair of Kanye's, literally. People's mothers have Kanye's. And it's just like, River, you have a good one, Blake sneakers? I, I do, I do want to. I do want to. Filling pieces? No, I know about filling pieces. I've known about filling pieces for years. I like, I like them. And they were, they were one of the first, Filling Pieces was one of the first, like, I want to say, to cross between, like, luxury and, like, dope shoes, but everybody jumped on that bandwagon. Everybody jumped on that bandwagon. I showed some of my sneakers at some point. You gotta be old. You gotta be old to know this stuff. I have um I have some IBN Jaspers. Um No food eating contests are really no horrible and disgusting. <laughs> I've seen one person wearing filling pieces in real life. I got I got some Asics. I got Valentine's Day. I got Valentine's Day Asics from two years in a row. The the Angel Devil and the other one. I got the IBN Jasper Diamond Supply Co. Um, Angel was it Angel Devil? No Valentine's Day Massacres. And what about Red? I got the. Original Mork and Mindy's, SB Dunks. Mork and Mindy from the show Mork and Mindy, Robin Williams. I got... I got Bathing Ape, Incredible Hulks, Deadstock. I got Bathing Ape, SpongeBob's Deadstock. Bathing Ape, Batman's Deadstock. I got, I got a lot of stuff dead stock actually, but the cool thing about the Bape Marvel and the Bape DC Comics is the sneakers came in a bubble package. What's up Miku? The sneakers came in a bubble package just like the action figures. So you could like actually like hang it on like, you know when you pick an action figure off the rack at the toy store? The sneakers came just like that. So. For people just joining in. You missed some bourbon chicken, broccoli, cheddar. The most expensive ones I have. Bourbon chicken, broccoli, cheddar. Um, the hell was it, my potatoes? 
some type of mashed potatoes, garlic, bourbon, chicken, broccoli, garlic, cheddar, mashed potato subs. Most expensive ones, I don't know. I'm not, I don't, I'm not in the game, so I don't know what they're worth. Possibly the Incredible Hulks. Possibly the Incredible Hulks. For sure. Let's see Google. How much are DS Bape Incredible Hulks worth? What the hell? There's a pair on Grailed. I don't know. There's used sneakers on Grail for like a shit ton of money. <laughs> Flight Club. I don't know. I don't want to waste your time looking for a pair. Five five ninety nine. They're pro I would think they're worth more than that, dead stock. I could be wrong. Or how do I know? Somebody said five ninety nine. I would think I would think well over a thousand. I would think well over a thousand. Prom boy is Prom Boy is shy and he needs to come out of um, he needs to come out of his shell and this is what I said to him because he sent me a video and all you can see in the video is his hand and the guitar I didn't tell it was him I could tell it was him no bullshit but he like put the he put his phone on the floor to film him so I'm like, dude, we got to see you, though. He's like, I know. He's like, I'm scared of the camera. So I'm just like, I'm like, dude, this is what you got to do. Keep filming yourself every day. I'm like, keep filming yourself every day. You playing the guitar yourself. Sing. Sing louder. Adjust to it. Get comfortable with that. I'm like, when you're comfortable, then you send me another video. I'm like, I'm, like, I don't, I'm not pushing you to... I'm not pushing you to show me a video, but I'm pushing you to show yourself a video. So all he needs, and he can, guys, he can play guitar. He can play guitar and he can sing, which is the most frustrating part. This kid, this kid, did the kid pick up the SE bike? I'm not sure yet. This kid came in here asking how to, I don't play any games. I don't, I don't have no leisure time. I just literally just work and then do some partying and stuff with Jenny and work. Oh, and some training here and there. Um, much less training in the winter, though. So this kid came in here asking how to get girls. He's, he can sing and he can play guitar. Is scared to tell girls or show girls that he can sing and play guitar. So... All we got to do is get him to the point. All we got to do is get him to the point where he can film himself with confidence, singing and playing the guitar. Post a video. Send it to me first. I'll tell him to post it. We all go like it, comment it. Friggin' girls start noticing. So, what's the best movie ever, Sarah?
He needs a coach. No, he just he just needs to do it. But like literally, guys, literally the video was this. All you saw was his hand and the guitar, and you could see his like it was it was on the floor. It was on the floor, like this, and you see his hand and guitar, and like a little bit of his face. And I'm like, dude, why are you not filming yourself? So I will um I will check up on him. I will check up on him because. That's that's all he's got to do. That's all he's got to do is is get some confidence to do that for himself. But anyway, I got to go. I got to wake up early in the morning. You guys all have a good one. So thank you guys for jumping in. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you guys for listening to the the, the randomness of the streams from dieting to whatever. Um, dessert tonight? No, but I might do a dessert meal tomorrow.